I'm afraid you're out of luck. The boats bring you here. Well, they'll not take you forth. I'm an impatient traveller, ready to turn ship. The ceasefire's getting us nowhere. Consider it your allowance. A man of no consequence. What a coincidence! Aunt Nursery rhymes curious things. Like this one. From the deep the Archean calls. Yet on deaf ears the god's tongue falls. The king made to kneel in pain he crawls. You need only heed the call. Visit the Archean and hear his plea. I can take you. I'm not one to stand on ceremony, but such an occasion calls for an introduction. Please call me Arden. Come with me to the car park. That's where I left my automobile. She's a dear old thing. Pales next to your regalia, but she's never let me down. So, we take two vehicles, a convoy of sorts, shall we? All set. Very well. Let me know when you are ready. Allow me to do the honor of assigning your driver. I choose you. And what if I ride with you? You might find the cab fare to be more than you bargained for. <laughs> what if I drive your car? You might find the rental fees to be more than you bargained for. <laughs> All yours, Ignis. Come now, he always drives. Be a friend and let him rest for a change. You drive your car and I drive mine. With that decided, let us be off. Just to be clear, this isn't a race, it is a chase. You're not to pass me. Lose sight of me and you'll lose your way. And no tailgating. An accident would spoil the trip. As you wish. Drive safely now. Can you go no faster? You have catching up to do. Try the accelerator. You have our roles reversed. Don't leave me in the dust. What's the road? Something I said. Oh, you'll drive me mad. What say we call it a day here? The Archean's not going anywhere? Oh, I'm afraid I've never really been one for the outdoors. I shall foot the bill, so let us stay at the caravan over yonder. Now this feels like a road trip. Well, well, if it isn't yours truly. Oh, I don't mind at all. Snap away for His Highness's collection. Good morning to you. I should warn you, we're about to pass the point of no return. I trust you're not having any second thoughts. We're here. Have I given you reason to doubt me? Hello! It's me! Be so kind as to open up! I may not look like much, but I do have some influence. Aren't you glad we came together? Your audience with divinity lies ahead. I drop you at the Archean's open door, and with that, Bid you farewell. Fancy meeting you here! It occurs to me I never formally introduced myself. Izunia! Arden Izunia! At your service, and more importantly, to your aid. I guarantee your safe passage. Though you're always welcome to take your chances down there. Buried among the rubble, is it? I'd say that's far enough. A hand, Highness. Oh, but I'm here to help. By taking the army away. When next we meet, it'll be across the seas. Just so happens we have business of our own with the tutelary deity, don't we? Fare thee well, Your Majesty. And safe travels. Gentlemen, what a pleasant surprise. With my imperial friends, no less. But fear not. I'll put in a good word. Well, come along then. Don't stray too far, lest you get left behind. And surely you'd rather avoid unnecessary scuffles.
seeing as you're now a trio. Oh dear. Touchy subject. Then let's discuss why you're here. Hmm, it can't be archaeology. Mithril, perhaps? Mithril. It's a precious resource, you see. We can't just let anyone get their hands on it. <gasps> I never said that! Where is the fun in that? I thought you'd rather dig it up yourselves. Fear not. I'll be but a moment. All clear. Go ahead. Alas, the ever-wary military. They'll not abide visitors left unattended. I must prevail upon you to accept an escort. I've seen to everything. Oh, did I ever tell you I'm the Chancellor? But did you know the army and I are unaffiliated? It's true. I have no authority whatsoever. But what I lack in authority, I make up for in friends. I trust you'll be civil. Commodore Aranea Highwind, I leave them to you. The wedding day arrives, but alas, without the bride. Of course, we've come for the Hydrian. And you've gone to such lengths to prepare. Ah, but for an outsider to lead, the Imperial Army must be a battle in and of itself. You've spoken to Lady Luna Freya. That obstinate secretary, standing in the way while you rush off to slay the Hydrian for your poor sister's sake. I know the price of the Covenant. Now, about that ring. On second thought, you let him have it. And do remind him about the crystal. <clears throat> mm. Oh, Prince, your bride awaits! How sweet. But please, Lady Luna Freya, you first. <laughs> it's a real mystery. I'm not liking that snow cloud. Kind of gives me the chills. Like, who comes up with this stuff? I couldn't dream something like this if I tried. It's a wondrous world. What the hell are Whoa, you doing here? What's going on? Easy there, buddy. Oh, didn't see that coming. You all right? Be careful there! Wait, is this for real? Huh? No! Oh. Ah, uh, knocked. Come on, knocked. You're scaring me. Seriously, man. Cut it out. It's not safe. Plus, you're causing a scene. Quit playing around, okay? Dude, are you seriously trying to kill me? What are you talking about? Do you really mean that, Noct? Of course I do! You can't talk your way out of this! You won't even let me! Noct, please, can't we talk for a sec? Never! Do you really mean that, Noct? What? Are you saying it's not? Yes. What good would it do me to hurt you? Who cares? Knocked. Please, can't we talk for a sec? Never. Oh! oh! Ah! How long were you in the dark? Oh, there you are. I'm worried about your friends. They've fallen and they can't get up. Why not lend them a hand? A coldness that can only be hers. Ah, the face you wore the day you died. I feel I've earned the right to call you knocked. For a moment I felt death's chill wind. Such is the might of the gods. But then I remembered I'm immortal. Such is my blessing and curse. Your attack hurt me nevertheless. My feelings at least. And after all the memories we've shared, remember this. Ah! I should have asked if you remember him. Truly a blast from the past. Nay. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. You mustn't take what's not yours. He? <laughs> the little gunman's a short shot away. Where else but Gralia, the seat of the Empire? 
I'm sure he'll be delighted to see you. And you might even find your crystal. With all these demons about, you could certainly use it. Off you go, then. I wouldn't want to keep you from your friend. <laughs> Look at you, all by your lonesome. How does it feel to be powerless? Can't help your friends if you can't help yourself. Can't you simply taste the air of foreboding? <laughs> Must be tiring having to run all the time. That magic is a royal disappointment. <laughs> It's all coming along swimmingly, isn't it? <laughs> Poor Prompto must be feeling the heat right about now. Ah, oh, you should have seen the look on your face. You'd best hurry. Next time, it might really be your friend. That's one of my personal favorites. Are you certain it wasn't the real thing? Wouldn't want to make a mistake. Oh, it's just so unfair. Your heart's desire, so close now. Soon it will be within your grasp. I suggest you take the central elevator. It will take you to your goal. Oh, now they've found you. I believe you've lost something. Your spine. If a king cannot protect himself, how is he to protect others? The higher you climb, the further you fall. Not so tough without your borrowed toys, are you? Did you hear that? There's something out there. Aha! Well, you can't say I didn't warn you. You really are helpless without your friends babysitting you. I have grave doubts about your friends. Tragedy could strike at any moment. What was that noise? Is it scary being on your lonesome? I love surprises. Uh, you'll fall for anything. The Empire made considerable inroads into the science of demons. Well, after I showed them the way, of course. We'd managed to make demons, right here. Ever wonder where demons come from? Once upon a time, they were children of nature, beasts and men. Oh, and you've killed so many. The infantry units you callously dub MTs all began as babes in this very facility. Imprinted with serial codes and incubated until they were strong enough to fight. What a pity innocent souls fated to suffer at the hands of a foreign king. Well, not so empty after all, are they? Your head can do more than wear a crown. Use it. What's wrong? Don't tell me you're lost. Oh, well done, my boy. The most fascinating tidbit about your dear Prompto. Turns out he's not empty either. He's got quite the skeleton in his closet. <laughs> How
How will this story end, I wonder? Where are your friends? You don't think oh, they ran off without you? Where does it hurt? You can tell me. You still haven't found Gladio? Only a matter of time before Ignis bumbles into a trap. You must feel very much alone right now. Your bodies have bright lives ahead of them. Don't take it personally if they choose their own over yours. In case there was any doubt, it's a trap. A little pain never hurt anyone. On you go. Hurry, while you dawdle, people are dying. Perhaps I you. could be of service. <laughs> Why I come bearing gifts. See? Gifts. Now, I believe a thank you is in order. For what? Here I am, helping for a change, but I can see I'm not wanted. Right this way, gentlemen. Keep going a little closer. Yes, that's a good boy. Uh-uh. Wrong way. Oh dear, I can see the light fading from your friend's eyes. What's this? I think he's stopped breathing. Why don't you come and see for yourself? Spare me your sycophancy. I've indulged your false heroism for far too long. You tried to save the world in my stead, but it wasn't enough. The crystal chose me, not you. Aw, oh, rejection hurts, doesn't it? Reunited with your retainers at last. How very touching. Must be a fine feeling, having friends. Look how happy you are. I pray you find your dear Prompto soon. Oh, I knew you'd go that way. Oh, you're such a tease. Your Majesty, your precious crystal awaits you. To liven things up, I thought I'd take you on a stroll down memory lane. Of course, memories decay with time. You could still get to the crystal. If you went on your own, your friends will have to stay behind. You better think fast. I don't envy you your decision. Betraying your friends for the greater good. The mark of a monarch. Step forth, your majesty. If you wish to obtain the crystal's power, you must be prepared to lose all else. Do you suppose your dear friends are still alive? Those who died for you, do you ever wonder what went through their minds? Can you even recall their final words? Your journey is over, Noct. Unharmed by the light, the chosen king indeed. Allow me to regale you with a tale. In an age long past, an incurable scourge ravaged mankind. A tiny menace that twisted men into monsters the likes of which you've seen. In Lucis lived a savior who could cure the afflicted. His body would come to host myriad demons. Countless lives be spared. But a jealous king, one not yet chosen by the crystal, ostracized and demonized this healer of the people, making a true monster of him. I gave you my name earlier, but you should know that it was not the name given to me at birth. Arden Lucis Kylum is my proper name. You'll never guess whose name Isunia was. No. 
killing you as a mortal will bring me scant satisfaction. Claim the crystal's power. Arise as its champion. Only once the crystal and king are no more can I know redemption. Come back soon. I shall keep your friends company until you are ready. Ifrit the Infernian. He doesn't share the Glacian's fondness for mankind. But you can expect a warm welcome. I shall await you above. I'm afraid you're out of luck. The throne brings you here. <laughs> it seats only one. Oh, knocked. How I have waited for this. Longer than you could ever know. Tonight, the dreams of the blood royal come to an end. They have no place in this. The battle of kings. Come, Noctis. The once helpless and hapless prince. Is he now ready to claim his crown? Don't let us down. <laughs> Let the games begin. Let it be done until only one remains. So you are the chosen king, but you are a second choice at best. No more! Oh my! Cutting it close. Truly a pity. <laughs> Where is your head? Over here. How long must I wait? Does it hurt? The pain is proof you're mortal. Chosen indeed. Chosen to die. And so it ends. Let me know when you're ready to begin. Did I mention I'm immortal? Ah, terribly disappointing. The legend proved to be a myth. Oh, this could be the very death of me. Let it be done. Is that really the best you can do? Perhaps it's time you threw yourself on my mercy. A gift for you! The ten years you spent accumulating your power. I spent assimilating demons and accumulating mine. I was so very close. So close to taking those friends of yours and making them into demons. Even with the dawn to break now, it would only bring the horrors to light. Do you like what I've done with the world? I twisted it all just for you. A king in name alone. I'm truly disappointed. Can't you do any better than that? Ten years and nothing to show for it. Ah, oh, my revenge is soon at hand. How long have I waited? Well, let's have it then. You and your crystal. Against all I have become. Ah, oh, a king at last. A war of attrition, then. The kings of yore are on hand, calling you forth ah, to oblivion. I... <sighs> Yet when your father died, you were off playing with your friends. When your beloved died, you lay watching, powerless to stop it. You think ten years is a long time? It is nothing to me. I have lived in darkness for ages. So, 
That is how you would end it. Now it is over, Majesty. What will you do? Banish the demons and bring peace? Erase me from history once more. I will await you in the VR.